I'm John Cruth. I'm the executive director of the Ryan Center. And I want to thank you guys for coming out and braving the heat to come here to see Ed Edwards tonight. Um, I'm really excited to see this presentation. We did a little bit of uh, experiments with Ed in the, in the lab today and uh, had some really fun experiences, had some good results. Um, so tonight, uh, I want to let you guys know I have some official things to take care of. First of all, turn off your cell phones. Good evening. Welcome tonight to tonight's program. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our special guest speaker, Mr. Ed Edwards. Ed grew up in Georgia and spent his childhood experimenting with an awareness of an energy field that he could sense and modulate. In 1995, at Holanda Biophysical Laboratory in Grass Lake, Michigan, Dr. William Levingood was the first scientist to quantitate, quantitative, uh, quantitative. yes, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> measure Ed's capability to transfer energy beyond space and time. In 2008, Ed was tested at the Rhine Research Center where he was able to increase the light level, or photons, by 210 times above the amount of normal background photons. Ed has an ongoing project with the Rhine Research Center in the Bioenergy Emissions Lab. Ed has trained his uh, autonomic nervous system to interact with ever-shifting ever isomeric configurations called assonant energy that are ubiquitous in all living organisms. By attuning to this resonant energy with a patient, he shifts the frequencies of their energy in a way that gives maximum benefit for healing. This evening, you will have the opportunity to experience energetic resonance for yourself. Please know, Mr. Edwards does not diagnose or treat diseases. As an aside, I would like to add that last year, I had an energy attunement with Mr. Edwards, which has resulted in an improvement in a long-standing health issue that I'd been dealing with, thyroid nodules, and I had had that um, followed for 10 years uh, with ultrasounds and blood work, and I went back after a uh, session with Mr. Edwards and I no longer needed a biopsy or um, my neck size went down and was very good. Um, so please join me in welcoming our guest, Mr. Ed Edwards. But hello everyone. Good to see everybody again. A few of you I remember from last time I was up here and a lot of new faces. and. So I'm back again. I'm a little bit of a hot time today. But um, as I said, I started out with this energy when I was a little baby. Uh, my grandmother was a hands-on healer in our community. I was like a problem birth, so she did this energy on me a lot when I was first born. I can remember when I was about six months old, able to mimic the energy and play back with my grandmother doing it. Remember the old patty cake game and stuff? Well, instead of us doing like that, every time my hands would get close, they'd get real hot, tingly, and I could push with it. Well, I came up through life um, doing all kinds of weird stuff, being that I was in the country. It's a good thing I was in the country. If they'd have found out about me in the city, no telling where I'd be stuck at now. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, so I grew up uh, in the country playing with this, didn't know what it was, didn't know how to explain it, uh, always wanting to find answers to it, uh, but never could. Where I'm from, uh, I'm in that little town they filmed the movie Deliverance in, so there ain't many people that you can ask about energy healing there. You know? So I had to keep it quiet all my life around there. Then finally back in uh, about 1994, I got hooked up with uh, Dr. Levingood here. He uh, was a physics professor up at the University of Michigan. And I found him because Dan Rather was doing a story on him, had him on 2020. And he's got this equipment here called the Charge Density Pulse Recorder that will measure this energy. 
and he uses it to measure pain and quite a few other things with breakdowns of tissue and all. We also hook people to it that are sick and then get a baseline and find out you know, where they're at and stuff, and I'll lock a hold of the people, even from a distance, and we can watch the graphs of their energy go up as I start doing this energy on them. It basically realigns all the electrical systems within their bodies, and the way I explain it is like people with your cells are you know, like an energizer or battery. If you're sick, all these batteries are all twisted out of shape. When I apply this energy to you, it just realigns everything so your natural systems all start working again properly. Well, y'all ready to feel this energy? Yes. All right, so I'd rather just go ahead and show it to people and then talk about it, you know? So if everybody kind of loosen up a little bit, get your feet on the floor. And we've got a couple of ways of doing this. We can uh, do it sitting down to start out, but I've got this fun trick that I call a gravity wave effect where if I get you to stand up, and if I get my cameraman maybe to shoot down the row of a couple of people there, when we do the standing, I'm going to push and pull y'all all at the same time. Okay? So if everybody would start out holding their hands like this right here, and move them back and forth just a little, and you'll feel a tingle heat magnetic sensation right in there. Feel that? Everybody, I'm going to let give a chance for I see, and everybody gets locked into it good. You got it up there? All right. Pull it on apart a little bit. Now then, I'm going to send a little juice through it to see if I can't wiggle your fingers. Let your fingers relax for me on your end. You ready? There. Feel the wigglies? Basically, we got the, what's known as the quantum universe between us. I'm energetically locking into it, and I'm interacting with your autonomic nervous system. All right, turn your hands up like this. All right, now I'm going to radiate some energy, and do a, it'll kind of like nearly pull on your arms. Feel that levitating effect? All right. Now pull them back here and let's see if the magnets are a little bit stronger. If it is, that means you've gotten more aware to your own electrical systems. Y'all feel that stronger now? Okay. Let's go ahead and try the gravity wave. If y'all could stand up for me. Now be cautious so that you don't fall over. Okay. Let me get back over here a little bit. Do your hands like this first. Just a little bit to lock in where you get the magnetic sensations. Got that? Now pull your hands down like this and beware of your balance. Here we go. Here is a DC negative field. Feel the pull? Okay, neutral. Now I'm going DC positive. You okay? That's a DC positive field. Basically, I'm turning my body into a giant electromagnet, and I'm interacting with y'all. That's DC positive. Now back to DC negative. Anybody not getting the pull? You not getting the pull? Hang on. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to turn it up. Getting that pull now? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll back it down a little bit. Now, if any of you got any aches and pains, you may notice them starting to tingle and getting warm. One of, the, one of the byproducts or side products of this is that it heals. It makes pain go away. So I'm just pushing back and forth, playing with energy, and the side product is uh, y'all getting some pain relief up there. Anybody got any aches and pains still? Uh, what you got up there, sir? Lower back. Lower back. Your shoulder. And your shoulder. I'm going to turn it up a little more. 
Uh, taking some of the stiffness out. Feel better. How's the shoulders, ma'am? Pain low it going down? All right, I'm going to just make everybody tingle here right quick. Good. And this will help with the pain. Y'all tingling up yonder? Your feet may get hot too. All right, any pains left anywhere? I want to make sure everybody's smiling so we can continue here. <laughs> ankles, I got a different trick for ankles. Why don't you come right down here? I'll demonstrate how we do a few things here. And I'll let you even tell them where's your microphone at there that you had, that other one. Oh. If you hold that, you can give them a little feedback what you feel. Sit down in the chair for me. Put both feet up like that. There. Feel that coming through your shoes? Mm-hmm. I do. Both ankles? Both ankles. What does that feel like? It feels like a foot massage. <laughs> I'm not touching you, though. I know. What I do, Dr. Levinga has learned with his equipment that the energy comes out my left hand. He calls it charge density plasma. I send it through whatever I'm working on and back to my right hand. I have to cycle it. Whether I'm working on one person or with all of you, I run a signal out that went through every one of you and then back to me. But when I work concentrated on one person, and I just send it directly through them, but y'all may feel something. Y'all go ahead and sit back down up there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> all right. Everybody kick your ankles out like that. Now, while I'm working on her, see how many feel it up there. So that's what this energy is. It's connected. We've got this big pattern of connectivity here. You just relax. All right, any of y'all feel anything in your feet? This will make you feel and sleep real good tonight. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, okay. This works real good on taking swelling, arthritis, mm -hmm. them kind of problems out. <clears throat> and even with children, babies cutting teeth, I'm able to make the pain go away from it where they're not so cranky. Mm. What? When yeah. the, Permanent, if, uh, if I get it just right, permanent. Oh, that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of people I've worked on 10, 15 years ago with bursitis, arthritis, and they've never had a problem with it since. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and it's not, not every time. People do re-hurt things. People will restrain them, and then they'll come back and see me, and I'll interact with them again for a little bit. Mm. How's that feeling? That feels so good. Mm-hmm. It is just like a foot massage without you touching it. Yeah. Oh, I'm, that feels so good. I'm vibrating the energy. I'm resonating the energy and vibrating it. I'm doing this in my mind. I'm just using my hands as tools. And I can talk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> and it feels very warm, especially uh -huh. on my toes. I would tell you my toes feel warmer. Mm -hmm. I'm sweating up here, and I'm always cold. Yeah. It cranks your circulation up like crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. You are welcome. What's your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jordan's got it up there.